Hello guys and welcome back to another lesson and in this lesson we're going to learn about WordPress functions and so if you look at the left side here we got posts so inside the posts we can see that there are add new categories and tags now I'm going to create separate videos on these every single one of them so so with this category we can with this function add new we can add new posts okay in our website it's so easy and with categories we can for instance you can uh, if you have uh, if you have an online business or any any type of website mm, so you can like categorize all the items you know or if you have like a tech based website you can like categorize your text equipments and other stuff and if you want to add tags you can use the tag option right here okay and now we have the media so if you want to post any picture or any type of videos you can you you have to use the media function here okay so if you if you store anything in the library you can just post it in the library and then use it later for your projects the next one is pages now if you want to create pages and you have uh, you want to add features and pages you can use this option the pages option so it's pretty simple so the next one is comments now if you have a page like you if you have a tech based page or an online shopping website so if anyone comments on a post uh, all the comments will be appearing here so you can just go there and just check the comments so the next option is appearance now this is a very important function now if you want to change the appearance like the front end and other themes and stuff you know you can just you you just you just have to use this option and you can get free themes from other websites now wordpress it's uh it it's really revolving around themes you know you can buy them and the price also varies so or you can just get some free themes from any other website as well okay so now we have the plugins now the plugins are the most important part of wordpress now this is going to make your work much more easier so there are literally millions of plugins out there so you just got to choose which one is for you and there are some paid version of plugins and there are some free version of pl plugins so you you just gotta choose it so what are plugins now suppose you want to like create forum where people can contact you right so you can use these plugins to just create a system that they can use to, to contact you all right so the next option is users option so in users option like suppose uh, you want to change your admin or you want to assign another admin for your wordpress website so you're going to use the users option to add new or make a profile or just view all the users okay so now we're going to look at the tools so in tools option we have like import export site health export personal data erase personal data so you can use these these are like handy tools you can just for instance if you want to import um let's say images or any other content from another website so you can use these import options and you can also export it so and if you want to know about your website's health you can use this option if you want to export your personal data there's an option for this that as well 
if you want to erase your personal data you can use this option and theme file editor and plugin file editor now if you're a pro level uh, developer uh, i mean you have some experience off the back so you can you can use these options all right theme file editor so but if you're a beginner i won't recommend using because uh, the codes if you get it wrong it will be really bad so yeah and now we're going to take a look at the settings so now we're going to the settings functionality okay so in here we got the general writing reading discussion media fame links and sorry permalinks privacy live speed cache so these are like suppose you want to change the site's name or the time zone or the date zone so you're going to use this general so let's click it so here you can like you can see that site, site title and the tagline wordpress address or url and then site address administration email address membership user new user default default rule site language time zone date format and then time format and then week starts on any any type of like any day you can choose so and then you just press the save changes you've got the site ready your desired names and stuff okay let's go to our next setting option so in the next in so in the next setting we have we have the writing option here we have the writing option so if you want to change any posts or anything like let's visit it first like you can see that there is default post category default post format if you want to change the post format you can use it and then if you want to post via email you can also do that there's options for that okay you just have to add in the email and then you just put it on the uncategorized now here in the default post category you see if you like post something and you don't categorize it it's gonna be in a default category okay it's gonna be separate from other categories but if you set it to like its destined category you can just set, set it up here okay so next we have the reading settings okay so if you want to like change your home page or anything else let's get into it first so if you want to change your home page displays you can use the um, reading settings here you can select which page and how many pages you want to show in your home page or full text and then you can also change the visibility i mean if i mean if you like search for a website you always get recommendations and you you always find the websites already in the search engine so you can just if you want to like um, disable your website you can just select it and mm, your website won't be appearing the suggestions so now we have the discussion option okay so in the discussion you can like moderate your comments and other stuff let's get into it so here you can see that you can use the default post settings you can just change all the post settings and stuff and you can change like if someone comments it you can just if you if you don't like it you can hide it or you can just remove it and and you can use your email here you can use your email as well anyone posts a comment 
a comment is held for moderation so you uh, it'll uh, it'll wait for your approval before a comment appears so so basically you can just change everything and here you can see like the avatars now it's really important for a website to have an avatar so uh, you can choose any icon here you can see like these are the default ones like the mystery person or just keep it a blank and then gravitar logo identicon and then avatar monster id retro you can use any of them and there's, then there's many more as well these are all just defaults so now in the settings options we have the media okay so if you go to the media now suppose you have files pictures or videos saved in your library of the of your media and you want to change like the thumbnail size or make it like large or medium okay you can change the width and the height of the selected files so so that's how that is the function of the medias so now we're going to move on to permalinks now permalinks are like very important in wordpress and web development okay so what are permalinks now we can see here like this is displayed this website is displayed like this right so if we go to permalinks now our website you can see like it has permalink structure like the plain one is just the normal one and then you it's structured as day and name right and this is the link of my website and you can set it to month and name as well you can see the date here of the months the month and name you can set it to like numeric and then there's also post name okay now this shows those shows the post uh, the name of the website and then this the post okay and we have a custom one you can make one here okay just you one you desire you can just make one so i prefer you just use the post name because it's just simple so that is the permalink perm so that is the permalink and it is very important for your website to have a simple permalink so now we're going to move on to privacy here okay now what is privacy now if you go to any random website or if i just go here in the wordpress.com website and just go down here at the footer now you can see you can see here that it's written privacy right now if i click it we got the privacy policy here now almost every website they have privacy policies okay now it's a good idea to keep a privacy policy and it's very necessary all right so if you want to uh, give a privacy policy or to your website you just come here and create a new page a new privacy policy policy page create a new privacy policy page and just then you can just you can even change it later okay so you can use that you can use this option to uh, make a privacy policy page and i think it's it's a really good practice to keep to keep a privacy policy page so next we have the light speed cache okay so the light speed cache is like it's not basically a default function uh, of wordpress okay so it's it heavily it's based on like the plugins that you use uh, to build your website so whatever plugins that you use is like it's related to this light speed cache so it's not like all these functions that just come in with default so and we're going to discuss this light speed cache and the plugins mainly the plugins in our plugins lesson okay 
So now we're going to start and from scratch we're going to create a new website using wordpress.com and I'll see you in the next lesson, okay?